In this tutorial, we will see the plate editor possibilities in detail. The editor is an advantageous tool that allows us to change the geometry of the plate and to modify the bolt distribution and etc. To open the plate editor, click on editor here. As an alternative way, you can start the plate editor by right-clicking on the related plate and selecting editor here. The ribbon menu in the editor allows us to carry out modification operations on the plate and change the bolt distribution, including adding new ones or deleting existing ones. I can get the drawing of the plate in my graphic window, and in this way I can check the geometry by clicking on drawing. I have seven operations named offset, rounding, chamfer, bevel, arc, hole and notch. By using offset, I can generate positive or negative displacements from the sides of the plate. Here I have a dotted line and a gray area. The dotted line represents the original shape of the plate and the gray area shows the real shape. I can apply this offset either to all edges or to specified ones. If you select whole outline checkbox and enter a value as 10, you will have an inward offset. On the contrary, if you write a negative value you will have an outward offset. Let's try and write minus 20, you will see the change. Moreover, it can be expanded or reduced from just one edge. To do this, uncheck whole outline, and write corresponding number to the selected edge. Let's write 1 to the selected edge to see the change. Before I move on to another action, I should mention that the plate editor also has copy and delete features. In this way for example, you can copy the current operation and select the second edge in the copied one. Use this offset function for a plate that imported from a DXF file or from other drawing programs. Otherwise, it is easy to modify the plate externally in the main graphic window. Now I will delete these operations and go on the others. As the second, I have a new tool named rounding. Its function is to round the corners, as expected. You can introduce the number of the corner that you want to round, or select all corners checkbox to round all. The last thing you have to do is specify the value. The next operation is chamfer. 45 degree cut can be done by chamfer. The fourth operation is bevel. It is similar with the chamfer, however we have two values here. If you do not know which length is A and which one is B, you can easily check the drawing. I will delete these operations and move on to the next one. If I want to generate a curved edge, I will use arc operation. When we click on the arc button, it will apply to one edge with default parameters. I can also make the arc in either direction, inward or outward. If I want to generate a semicircle, first I have to know the length of the related edge. So I need to enter a value that is half of this edge. To do this, let's check the length of the edge and write half of it here in elevation. Now we have a semicircular part here. If you do not know that which edge you are editing, you can check it without leaving this screen. To do this, click on apply and move this window aside. The next operation is hole. We can generate holes with different typologies such as circle, rectangle, square and polygon. For example, if I choose circle, I need to specify the diameter and coordinates with respect to the origin. These are all options for the circle. For instance, if you write 30 for center X, the position of the hole change like this. But if I select rectangle instead of circle, naturally the fields will vary. We have center X and Y to change the position, and rotation to rotate it. Let's introduce 40 for width, 80 for height and 30 for rotation. We can see which parameter does what, with instant change in 2D graphic window. The last operation is making notches. We can generate a notch with a curved corner. There are three parameters that represent the two dimensions of the notch, and one on the corner to be rounded. You can change those parameters and see how it has changed in 2D graphic window, as we did before. Just as a side note, if you make round greater than one of the sides, the program will not round. The round value can be at most equal to the smaller side length. In this editor, it is possible to add more than one operation to a plate. Let's delete all existing operations and examine the bolts. 
you cannot change the position of the bolts in the editor, unless you explode them. You can see the bolt numbers in both 2D drawing and the list. You can also define the holes as circular, horizontally slotted or vertically slotted. Then you can define the length slash diameter ratio of the slotted hole. After making all the changes, I can click on apply and OK to check the changes from 3D graphical window. If you want to go back to the original, just open the editor again click restore and click on apply. Lastly via this bolt button, we can add new bolts.